welcome in and say hello to the newest member of the New England Revolution. Josie Altador joins us now on the show. Josie, how are you? I'm great, guys. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being on, and congratulations on your first, uh, win. I think, multiple wins. Yeah. You guys racked yeah. up uh, in, the, in the CONCACAF. That's great. That m- must have been the easiest matches you've ever been a part of. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. I'll tell you. It went by so fast, I didn't even miss it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're joining the Revs after a successful run in Toronto, and you had uh, a choice in where you were going to go next, and so I think people – naturally want to know why is it that you chose the revs and i know you maybe have some connections here but is that playing a part and why is it the revs for you yeah i mean obviously for my wife and i she has you know deep roots to to the boston area you know her mother was an all-american swimmer sybil smith her father um john stevens was a was a running back for the patriots she has a brother that lives here um myself i have a brother that lives here with his wife and so for us from the family standpoint, it was, you couldn't really miss it, you know, with all the crazy things going on in the world to, to be able to be close to the family and do what you love around your family. That played a huge part for us. And then obviously after that, looking at that pro, you also look at the team itself and the city, a sports city. Boston is, is amazing, right? You know, for, for all sports. And then the revolution having had a strong season season and historically being a very strong team to have the opportunity to, to help win a championship for a franchise that hasn't been able to do it thus far was a real, real, real cool opportunity, in my opinion, a great challenge, as well as, you know, joining, joining a team that obviously has the last year's MVP, has, has two already very, very good strikers, and all around a really strong team from the back to the front. So I felt like it'd be a cool challenge for myself at this point in my career and uh, an exciting city to move into, a place that really loves and invigorates sports. And I, and I think people have really started to, to to gravitate towards this team, and we'll get to the Bruce Angle part of it. But um, have they? Has, has your family talked to you about you know just the excitement about the Revs over the last year and since Bruce arrived? I mean, it has really changed as far as just yeah, I mean, fans brother, going packing to get back in the stadium, going to games, and all that here. Yeah, yeah. My brother he lives in Maynard, and um, okay. he he's telling me all the time the past couple of years, obviously coincidentally at how the momentum has been building with the club and how well they've been doing, how Bruce has come in and really changed the perception and, and made the team, took the team to a new level. And then funny enough, you know, I had the opportunity to talk to, to the New England Revolution and there was a, there were a lot of synergies. And, and Bruce Arena is a winner. I mean, he's done it for, I don't even know how long anymore, you know, 20 years, whether it's with the national team, the LA Galaxy, everywhere he goes, he wins. He gets the best out of players. He pushes people to be better. And, and I was still looking, looking forward to that in my career, looking for a place where I can be challenged, where I can, you know, hopefully return to my best. And, you know, it was a great opportunity. I'm very grateful for the opportunity uh, to be a professional athlete is a gift. So to be doing it here with New England, you know, I'm honored and I'm really, really excited to get going. Uh, Josie, you, you mentioned Bruce and, and, you know, how he's a winner. You and Bruce go way back. I think he drafted you as a 16 year old. And you mentioned, I think in part of your introductory press conference, how he hasn't changed. It is kind of remarkable when you come across anyone in life, much less somebody with as much experience as Bruce does, who is just so consistent. I mean, he is the same guy. It seems to us because we talk to him, you know, every week during the season, week in, week out, win, loss, ups, downs. The guy just doesn't change. No, he doesn't change. But you guys know this um, with your backgrounds, you know, in sport, anything, if you want to be great, you know, you, you have to do consistently what makes you great. And all the, you know, whether it's a Bill Belichick with the Patriots or Bruce Serena with the Revolution, their history speaks for itself. And why is that? Because they come in every day, every year with the same mentality of wanting to be better, wanting to push guys to be better. They don't have to, right? But that's what makes them legends. And you want to be around people like that as a player. You want to be around people that set that tone and then help you add to that. So, you know, I'm, I'm very lucky and fortunate. You know, this guy, I don't know if you guys know this, he let me go to prom when I was 16. So he's got a soft side, too. He let me miss a game to go to prom. And I'll never forget that. You know, I, he, he knows the balance of pushing guys, but also knowing when to peel it back a little bit. And, and that's what the greats do, man. They know how to manage personalities, manage players, and they get the best out of people. Was it's it, fun, it's was funny. It, well, was it worth it? How was prom night? Yeah. 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 Prom was amazing, man. Okay. <laughs> it always is. I mean, it can be a disappointment. See, you know, you yeah. never know how the night 
it's going to end up. No, but Bruce brought him up when we were we were talking to Bruce when he went out to L.A. Um, you know, for training because he had the 16 year old local kid. I think it's Noel <sighs> is his name, um, and he brought your name oh, up. He's like, I've had that before. So, but yeah. what, what was your first impressions when you walked in and saw the new facilities that they built here? Oh, it was beautiful. You know, I hadn't I hadn't been here before, and I, to be honest, I kind of forgot that they had it until like the last couple of days when everything was getting sorted out. And it's huge, you know, when you when you have a place like this where one guys can come in and feel like they have a home, and two to attract talent. You know, guys, you know, serious professionals want to come to a place where the facilities are great. You know, everything's top notch, and they can just focus on what they got to do to become better athletes, better players. So. This adds another layer, another piece to already already great organization, and it, it makes it even more attractive for, for talent all over the world, players all, all over the world to come to. So I think most players would agree that the training facility is top-notch and is you know nearly brand new, and it's great. The one thing that the Revs have been working on, and I'm sure you've heard about this, is they continue to seek a new stadium, and playing on turf is probably not ideal. So how do you feel about playing the bulk of your games on turf at Gillette? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a challenge. I hadn't, I haven't really done it yet in my career like this consistently. I did it a bit when I was 16 at Giant Stadium, but you know, 16 and 32 is a bit different. But at the same time, you know, having practiced on it, the turf is actually in really good shape. It's been relayed. It's a lot softer. So hopefully, obviously, we can find some success as we had in the past few years and make it a fortress. So, you know, it's just another challenge that that I'm really open to taking and exciting on taking on because. You know, you need these things in, in careers. You need you need to find ways to push yourself, to challenge yourself, and this will be another one, and, and I can't wait to, to attack it. You've played against Carlos Hill. You've played against some of these guys on the Revs. How much are you looking forward to playing with him? How do you think your games are going to, to meld? Yeah, Carlos, I mean, MVP, right? So it speaks for itself, and I was really curious to – to see him up close, obviously having played against them, and this guy can play anywhere. He's he's a proper player. Uh, he plays the game the right way. He's a top professional. Um, you know his attitude every day it sets the tone for everybody else. So, you know he's one of the very one of the best players I've played with, and, and I'm I'm just looking forward to getting to know him better on and off the field. His tendencies to try to get that chemistry down. You know, he, in a lot of ways he's like a quarterback. The way he sits, finds pockets, and distributes the ball so effortlessly. His timing is great. And so I really look forward to playing with a guy like that. And uh, I just can't wait to, to get to know him better on the field. If you were to play a match today, how many minutes could you go right now? 90 to me, man. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> and then full, full, full go. All right, 60 today. It's going to be a little chilly tomorrow. Now. So the yeah. wind tends to get your chest a little bit. Yeah, but, but I'm coming from Toronto. So I'm yeah. used to the, to the cold. I'm used to all that. I mean, are you ever really used to it? You know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. cold. Cold is cold. But, you know, it, it, it's something as soon as you step outside, you forget right away after a couple of minutes. Yeah, Josie, in a World Cup year, one of the positions on the U.S. men's national team uh, that isn't exactly solid yet is that striker role. Do you think you maybe could play your way onto that team and be in that picture this year? Um, you know, to be honest, I, I, I was asked that question, you know, before this week. And, look, everybody has dreams, you know, as, as athletes. And you guys know this. You know, you have dreams, you have things you want to do. But for me right now, at this point in my career, the focus is only New England. The focus is the revolution and trying to get on the field for them and, and be successful, uh, be active, and help this team get over the hump. And then if I can do that, then who knows, you know, you can think about other things. But that's that's far from my mind right now, in all honesty. All honesty. It's just about being effective and adding something to the revolution. That's That's my main focus. All right. Well, welcome to town, and uh, we look forward to seeing you out there on the field, and we look forward to having you again sometime. Awesome, man. Thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate it, guys, and, and thanks for the support of, of our club. We really appreciate it. All, All right. right. Good luck.